got to put the uh, wiring in for the uh, compressor. What I figured out, I think, is that I have to extend this wiring on both sides. I connected both wires, and these are solid, really solid connections. Now I needed a certain length, and I indicated that here, and then hope that it's the right length. I got my heavy duty wire crimper, or lug crimper, how you want to call it. That's the other side of the wire that is connected to the battery, more or less. And that gives me a really perfect fit. I'm continuing with the uh, compressor, uh, but the next step is how to power it up. And it comes with a quite complicated uh, harness uh, with everything uh, in it and, and more. Uh, but I had some issues. Uh, first of all, uh, the uh, compressor is here on the left hand side, as you can see, hopefully. And I need to connect the harness there then guide it towards the battery connection. And that's where the first uh, issue came because it's very difficult to find a way to guide that harness to the right hand side. Uh, there's no other wiring or harness that I can hitch a ride on. Uh, so that was one problem and, and normally when uh, the harness comes at the uh, battery. Uh, in my case, the battery is under the driver's seat. And I could connect it here, a little bit awkward, because uh, one wire has to go over there and the other one over there. But uh, Ford advises uh, to connect it at the uh, CCP, the connect customer connection point, which is also located at the driver's seat, the pedestal. Um, and then normally the harness continues to the firewall, goes inside to the driver's uh, area uh, where you can put a switch to switch the compressor on and off. Uh, I have been looking at a location for the switch, which is very difficult to find a good location here. So all these issues uh, made me have another look at it. So when you start looking at the location where the compressor is, so I started thinking of another way to do the wiring harness. So by connecting it to the compressor, uh, I thought of guiding it through the firewall out here. There's a nice place to do that. When you open the glove compartment and with the magic of a little bit of light. So the wiring would come in here, and this way I could continue it underneath to the center console, and then let it go from be below the console, under the floor, to this brake area where the handbrake is. And what I found is that the uh, brake here, the front of the brake at the bottom, uh, is a beautiful location for a switch. And that's why I needed two wire connections, one at the compressor side, as well as one as uh, the battery side, which I finished earlier. So those are the plans. Now uh, see how it works out in practice. I was able to remove a seal here, uh, which gives me access to the interior. So now I'll be trying to put these wires in from the inside out. That was easier than I thought. One more thing that I have to do is put this connector back on. But before I do that, I need to put some shrink wrap. I'm using my Blue Eddy power station to give me some power to drill a hole out there. 
for some zip ties. I'm adding some wire loom to it as well. Now I'm going to remove the old battery. That's one. So now I'm going to remove the old battery. There's not much space. I can remove the chair, but I think I can manage uh, without doing that. So I'll remove the uh, cables, the plus and the ne positive and the negative. And let's see what we can do. I got my old battery here. And that's the original. Worked for about uh, six years. It's still doing okay. But there's a good chance that one of the days I'll have a uh, dead battery. Since I saw some other indications, I thought I'll replace it and let's see whether my... Uh, engine light uh, goes off now. I re I'm replacing it with an uh, Epistart. It's a, the cheapest one that I could find. Uh, it's about uh, 120 uh, cranking amps better than the original for approximately the same price. Just to explore what I can create a little bit more space, I'll take off this cover for the brake, the handbrake, and then it should be also possible to remove this part. That's fairly easy. I got my chair loose, but I had to remove it entirely because there's a uh, tray built in where the battery is placed into and I need it to be outside of that tray. And you can see here that there are two connectors here. That's the way they come, at least in the 2016 version of the Transit. And I had a already a harness for the smaller one. I think it's a C. 33-C and from here I already took a few leads from here but I needed the two other ones the illumination as well as the ignition to use it uh, for the compressor so I, I isolated those two wires I can put it back in again here I took these two leads here and attached them to the at least part of the harness for the compressor here on the outside, that will go under this uh, central column. Now we can continue by with uh, the installation of the battery. So first uh, the tray back, the chair back, and then let's see what we can do. I'm back at uh, the compressor again, in the engine compartment. Do some more wiring, but before I do that, I'm going to install the filter. And that's, uh, you can take that apart, and then you can see it has a ceramic filter, which you can wash. So once in a while, you just have to take it off, clean it out, and uh, put it back on again. But now I'll put the filter on first. Let's remove this first. Protection. And there we got the filter. Let me see. That just clicks onto it. 
it works, I think. So the next step is uh, to connect the hose connector. And this is the hose connector, but this is a connection piece I have to connect to the compressor. Then in my case, the hose connector will be on top, so it's available from the top. And then I still have to connect, if I can do that. This is a pressure, pressure switch. So I have to put that on here as well, and then some wiring. And I connect all three of these with each other with some Teflon tape. I'm hoping nothing is in the way. And now that connector has to end up at the top. That should be it. Oh, before I go, please pay attention to these uh, missing children. If you have any information, please call the appropriate number. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. Done a good job.